Hello, Star Wars Unboxing fans. Welcome to a different episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba. It seems like I do a lot of different episodes. I'm just trying to expand and build upon the channel and try different things. So I hope you like them. Leave a comment if there's stuff you'd like to see more of or less of. But um, in any case, what I'm going to talk about a little bit today is uh, something that I've uh, kind of stumbled across other sites doing, whether, whether they be websites, podcasts, YouTube channels. And I just kind of decided I want to wrap my head around it in a lot of ways uh, in my own way. And what that is specifically is related to is um, just the amount of figures that Hasbro slash Kenner has put out over the past 40 years, almost 50 years, is just mind boggling. you know. And when you consider the fact that there have been, what are we up to now, seven saga films plus uh, two standalone films right plus um oh no i know rogue one and yeah two standalone films plus what four five series tv you know streaming series not to mention expanded universe and things of that nature so there's been a lot of content now everybody re resonates with different things right now while i'm i'm a lover of all things star wars i will say that i like many people my age resonate the most with the um, original trilogy not because i think the original trilogy is in any way shape or form 100 percent leaps and bounds better than the, anything that's come out since then i don't feel that way at all i feel that every trilogy every movie every streaming you know offering has presented some stuff that's going to resonate with people and some has presented you know stuff that builds the world which i love but in thinking about the figures the action figures that have come out, and specifically three and three quarter inch. I will say that I do have a leniency towards that. I tend to lean towards the three and three quarter inch over the black series. Anybody who's watched this channel knows that. And uh, I've, I've just kind of thought, you know, how many figures, how many characters has Hasbro slash Kenner made for the Star Wars movies? How, for all of its properties? Because I kind of stop, on the one hand, I think, you know, I thought I think back to like, um, you know, uh, the original trilogy, and I think of characters that didn't even have a line. Maybe they were they were on screen for two seconds, and they got a figure. And then I think of other characters that spoke multiple lines, like a whole th series of lines, and didn't get any figure. Not until later on. Maybe they got it. They certainly didn't get it during the retro years, the seventies and early eighties. But then maybe got one later on. And then there've been some that still haven't gotten any. And I kind of think. Well, I wonder why. Now I know that there's play value, and Hasbro has their own formulas, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna debate here. The formulas are good. I, I understand that, and they have them there for a reason. So I understand that. But I'm just curious. So I've done a little bit of research, and I kind of compiled a series of um, like a little. I, I compiled a little Google sheet uh, indicating which figures have been made, which characters, excuse me, have been made into figures, which characters have not. Um, and I've also kind of further pushed that envelope and said, which characters have been placed on vintage cards, meaning v vintage collection, the VC collection, um, to go even further? Because, you know, I look at those cards and I think, oh, they, you know, they've got to have like movie characters, you know, but if you, if you, anybody's collected the vintage collection knows that there aren't all movies, there's some expanded universe, there's some deleted scene characters. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. So there's no real rhyme or reason as to, as to what they do except for maybe you know celebrating the anniversary of a certain thing here and there they they put some interesting things out so i compiled this list and i just wanted to share this with you um you know just for my own kind of benefit so let's let me show you that right now okay so what you're seeing here is just my my computer screen and uh i have uh, set up kind of a just a real simple thing i have a uh, the film and scene now, I didn't get it down to the nitty-gritty of script scenes because it switches up. I'm just kind of giving a general location. Uh, the character name. If it's in the vintage collection, I would say the vintage collection number, like in the case of the first one, VC06. And other series number, if not, or I shouldn't say number, other series name. I didn't put the number in, but I put the name in. I might break it down even further, right? But right now, I just wanted to... Um, of focus on like so you know you see oops, sorry so as you see here you know you go through this let me just make this a little bit smaller okay 
So, and, 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 you know, I basically just turned on the movie and what did it. Now, I know there's a lot of people that have done something. And I, I do want to give credit out there to a few people, uh, to a few groups. Um, one YouTube channel, uh, No Skills Customs, which is a hyst hysterical name for a channel. But this person does an amazing job. And he broke down every droid in the movies and figures made and figures that weren't made. Every character, every, um, you know, Ewok, and the Jedi, every creature in Jabba's palace, every creature in Jabba's sail barge, every creature in the cantina. So he did a lot of heavy lifting um, on his channel, but I just wanted to, but I used it as a guide. Um, I also found some, you know, great information on Wikipedia and the Jedi, temp, uh, Jedi Temple, or sorry, yeah, Jedi Temple Archives, which has a great visual guide for all figures. And I also used uh, Galactic Figures dot com uh, galactic figure talk is uh you know chris b does an amazing job with both a podcast and a channel so i use those as just kind of guides for my own benefit but my brain works a certain way and i just wanted to organize it in a certain way and then build on it from there so as you can see we go through here and we have r2 and 3po if you think about the movie there's u 3po right and there you see is it says you know there is no vc number for him but there is a legacy collection build a droid figure okay now i don't know for sure if i have all of these i know i have most of the vintage collection ones the vc figures but i know and i know i have quite a few of the other ones i tried only to sell off figures that i of doubles or repacks and repaints but the build a droid figures i don't know if i have it or if i do have it i don't know if it's in, if it's completely if you know if i had enough loose figures to make the build a droid or not so um, and in some cases, like, you know, there are multiple versions of Rebel Troopers. Now, I did something in later versions that I didn't do here. Um, I only included one Rebel Tantive uh, Trooper. Um, but, and I just used what I felt was like, you know, v, again, a VC version. And, you know, there he is in the, um, as part of the vintage, the playset, right? But then later on, I actually started adding multiple Rebel figures, which I'll probably do to this. As you'll see when we go down, Stormtrooper, I just did one. You know, again, if they had a vintage collection and that was good enough, I kept it at that. You know, um, here's a Black Series uh, Princess Leia. You know, it's funny. I don't think there is a vintage collection Princess Leia, like in this costume. So interesting. And then you have some Saga collection, uh, Power of the Jedi droids, Captain Antilles. As you can see, the different groups that he came in. Now, these in gray. Okay, these are, I did um, the names of the characters, like Danger, okay, I guess it's Commander Danger, and Commander Nadanus Praji. Pre I, I believe these were created by Expanded Universe or by Comics, uh, the customizable card game that came out in the 90s, early 2000s. So I just grayed them out to, to, to show that these are not figures that have been officially made yet. So that's two examples that I would love to see someone you know make the figure now i recognize that and we're gonna just keep going around here you, know, you can see for yourself jawa death star droid i know that when it comes to figures that haven't been made that it's very unlikely that um hasbro is going to put a lot of effort into making some figures okay or remaking some of these like another or if an example wed treadwell droid treadwell droid this one i have here is the saga collection two pack that one came with Aunt Peru, but um I don't know if they're ever going to make a VC version of that. Okay. Um, I know that they made a VC version of a Jawa and I had that up here. Well, I will have it shortly, but this is for the droid that it came with. Uh, the MHYD 6804 droid. Again, I, I thank uh, No Skills Customs for getting all the information about this. I included a photo of it, right? Um, but this figure doesn't exist yet. Now, one great thing is that there are some customizable, com you know, groups out there that have started making 3D prints of these um, figures, of these characters, and some of them just do them on their own for their own hobbies, and they sell them, and they just they just share them, they just share the imagery. Some will actually sell the print files, which someday when I get a printer, I might want to take up take them take them up on that and. Uh, try printing my own figures and some will just sell the figures outright so and i know there have been a few customizable uh collection customizable figures um one of which i'm going to do an unboxing with fairly soon so again here's a, a different the different uh stormtroopers 
Okay, purchase of the droids. I can't believe we don't have a lot of Owen Lars and Baru Lars. Or, I'm sorry, Baru White Sun. And I just, you know, when it came to the Luke Skywalker figures and whatnot, I just kind of found, you know, some... I just kind of found some uh, versions that I thought worked really well. Here's some more that... Here's some of the, the generals from the... Uh, briefing room you know the little meeting with all the with all the uh, generals in uh, with Tarkin and Vader and general and Admiral and Mahdi and everything these two were never made um, some were some weren't so there you go there's Tarkin uh, naval uh, you know an Imperial Navy commander I just kind of utilize the one that they have on VC 94 you can you, you know obviously double these triple these quadruple these up for multiple ones um, even the <laughs> And, and I and I tried to avoid like big, like like tiny droids. You know, I didn't have the remote, even though I probably should have had the remote that Luke practices with. But it's just that they didn't really make it available, except for a few things. Maybe I did that in there. I never made, realized they didn't never made this R one series droid yet. You know, some of these things that were you know they, they're that you can only find them in Disney. You know, Disney parks. And then I started getting into things like the the uh, cantinas. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of aliens. I can't believe they haven't made this cantina. He's not a cantina band. He's a bit that's not a member of the cantina. So I go through all of this. All right. And you can see there are some human characters that were in the background. That was, you know, it's kind of fun. You can only find black and whites because those are probably figures that are, you know, characters that are really hard to spot. Some space creature, spaceman outfits. Again, uh, No Skills Customs did an amazing job tracking down. They are the infamous Tonica sisters. So, you know, I know that the, there's been stories that this one will never get made because of a licensing, like, like per, one of the actors didn't give, didn't give uh, permission to use their likeness, but I don't know why they just wouldn't make something. It's not like their likenesses was anything close in the vintage, in the retro version. It's just fun also to see all these characters that, that you know, I know I remember seeing this guy in a little scene from uh, Holiday Special. And then some of them did receive it, you know, and some of them got a VC, you know, which is great. Going through this one, a lot of Cantina aliens, still on Cantina, you know. This one, my God, some of them, was, it's barely hard, like a Duros. That apparently, there was a third Duros. They've only made one Duros, so you'd have to buy two of them to have the two making their conversation. Here's the second one, and then there's actually a third one. So I suppose that's an, an easy way to do it, is to just buy more of the same figure. I know there's a couple of Rodians like Greedo around there. But this droid, I mean, this Wed Nine this Bantha droid, they call it Nine Dash M One Wed Nine Nine M One. I mean, it's kind of a cool looking droid. Maybe they, maybe it looked too much like Robbie the robot or from the robot from Lost in Space. Who knows? I included in this one the original Jabba human actor, uh, Declan Mulholland, I think his name was, um, just because I felt like, you know, it, it. I just remember growing up seeing that that unfinished scene. Some Imperial officers that never got a figure. I didn't even conclude a photo here because it was so grainy. Death Star Power Droid. A regular droid, but black. So that could be an easy thing. The Imperial security members. Um, you know, you would think they would have made... I mean, obviously they made Krennic. They made some of the ones from Andor. But you would think that they would make ones from the original. Sergeant Torrent. <laughs> the Dianoga. Did come with the with the trash compactor two packs, so that counts. Scramble on Yavin Legacy Collection. General Willard. I always thought General Willard should have gotten a figure. Now, of course, Dodonna finally did, which is great. And also this guy, Hutzel, you know. Not so much this one, but and then got a, got a whole bunch of the X-Wing pilots. But then there's a bunch that didn't get them. You know, like I, mean, I, I would have loved to have seen like they did with the with the Rep the Death Star briefing room if they've gotten them. Now these, the, some of these are, are more modern. I don't believe there was any females in the scene. I could be wrong. Um, but they were retroactive. They were retro retcon back in, which I think is fine. Uh, for A New Hope, I did include this cartoon one um, this from a comic. But I didn't do that for any other ones. I just did that for the first movie. And, oh. This guy, like Del Gorn, enemy fighters coming your way. This guy, Rebel for Crew Chief. This R2 unit of yours seems a bit beat up. You want a new one? We count 30 Rebel shifts. I felt like if they had a line, they should have them. These are all the technical. It's hard to see this one. Maybe not right here, but these are all the, um, the 
guys listening, you know. And again, I know they're not that exciting of a thing, but anyway, so. And then, of course, the Rebel Honor Guard did get one. All right, moving on to Empire. Okay, again, I'm going to go a little faster here, okay. You can see that there are a lot. I think Star Wars had the fewest amount of picture, fewest amount of figures that, that have yet to be made. Empire had a lot. Um, we do have a series of, yeah, like some of the, some of the Hoth, um, so, you know, crewmen in the background. A lot, some of them didn't get figures. I mean, you, you know, these you could just use a Rebel trooper or the vintage Hoth trooper with, you know, with, you know, four pack to help represent some of these. A lot of the pilots. Yeah, like again, these guys. I mean, there are some that would work for these, you know. But it just, I just felt like, you know, these guys, they died for the for rebellion. They should have a, they should at least have a figure. I always thought this guy was the poor guy that was telling, had to tell Han that uh, Luke might have come in. It's possible he came through the south entrance. Why don't you go find out? He's just a little bit like what a doofus, you know, poor guy. So again, I don't know. I mean, I, I just kind of listed again. Some of these are, are I did I did put a handful of, cart you know like painted figures that had stories from the expanded universe, you know. But again, it's so interesting. Like you know, in in the Star Wars and the New Hope, uh, sheet, all these figures are listed at the end. But these are basically all taken the, from the photo that when Leia is, you can see Leia there when she's actually like talking to the crew there about how they do this. Oh, first catch of the day. Commander Lennox. A couple of them are, have only been released in these three packs. Not and these are not the uh, original vintage three packs. These are. By the way, I did not include any. Um, I don't think I included any. Only one or two figures that I include that were the original vintage collection from the seventies and eighties. This is all the newer ones. Just because you know they kind of align better, so you can see a lot of figures are made. And we have a couple of the Imperials, right? But again, Cloud Car, Lobot, most of the uh, Bespin Guard. Um, the E3PO, you could probably get away with using another one. Got a couple of Ugnats. But yeah, Scott, I always loved Captain Bo Be Be Will. Scott Walker has just landed, my lord. Like, <laughs> he got a very, very southern drawl. Of course, I only put Wilbur Hood in here because they made him, you know. Okay, and then lastly, Return of the Jedi. And first couple, the, so those Imperials, no good. By the way, when I included one, I, I know that there were multiple Gamorrean guards. I just included one and would, would assume that if you wanted more than one, you would do multiple. I did include Jabba. I did include the Rancor. Got a lot of these characters that really never were created. Yeah, the Jabba's, I put two. There was Beto and Ravid Jaza. Um, which I basically said use Greedo, <laughs> so I included them. I should probably go back and do that again. Some of these included are the the uh, Vintage Collection three packs and four packs relating to the Jabba soldiers, Jabba's denizens. You can see a lot of figures were created. Then there's a bunch in the background that, that were really not very interesting, but it doesn't mean that they shouldn't be created. So again, that might be something that I might play with in a few years when I get more comfortable understanding how 3d printing works when it becomes more of a regulated thing or something that's just easy to have rock wart i don't even remember the rock wart being there but okay going through this so anyway and we still a lot of job we're still in java's palace look at that a lot or, or java sail barge one or the other you know, and then we got some Imperials. And, and with the Imperial, I went, went, with the Emperor's arrival, I basically went through all of the Imperial types of uniforms. And I just made sure that at least one of each was represented. We have a scanning trooper with the black uniform, one with the gray uniform. Um, you know, again, oh, I guess I should have, I think I doubled it. Yeah, the, this and this are the same thing, so I have to fix that. But anyway, um, some Imperial officers in the olive green uniform from the four pack that just came out recently. Biker scouts were up there. Um, so far, to my knowledge, I think there are only two um, Imperial dignitaries. I thought there might have been more, but I don't believe so. I think there's only been two. If, you, if I'm wrong on that, please let me know in the comments and give me a name so I can search for it and I'll add it. But I was just having trouble finding it. Of course, I, you know, my research skills are not all that great. 
This one, um, somebody did a customized version of this Imperial Droid. It looks very Doctor Who-ish to me, but um, I do, you know, they did include a picture of it. A lot of Astromechs, all different colors. And again, thanks to Disney with the Build-A-Droid, either the Build-A-Droid Mail-Away in Hasbro or the Build-A-Droids that used to exist in Disney World. You know, you can, you can very easily reuse to. I hope they bring that back. They haven't had that in a few years. Mon Mothma, there we go. All the pilots in that briefing room. That was hard. The briefing room was hard. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a lot of research done about all the different characters you see in the briefing room. But oh, there's, of course, there's the Rebel Commando with the Endor Bunker playset. And I always, I'm, I'm, I'm dying on this hill. That's Captain Rex right there. That is Captain... Where is he? Right there. That is Captain Rex. The, the, the bearded soldier in Endor that put on the biker scout costume once the other three went and chased after was it uh pop pop Lou or tebow i can't remember which which ewok took stole the stole the speeder bike and he was one left and they took him they they got rid of him they, you know they got him controlled and apprehended and they this guy put on the outfit i am calling that captain rex i know that they have gone back and forth about that i don't know what the official thing is he has a different name but more droids more characters that they haven't made. Again, some of these, like, where did these two come from? <laughs> I don't remember them at all. But they're in there. Luke Skywalker. I, I used multiple of the main cast if they have changed costumes or if they had a very cool play feature with their figure. For example, C-3PO, and you'll see in a few minutes um, you know, as we start to introduce the Ewoks. Um, we have C-3PO somewhere. Well, maybe He's probably down here a little bit. He is, is a lot of Ewoks, lots and lots and lots of Ewoks, all different types. I got it. I gave him the one with the with the chair, with the Ewok chair from the Saga collection. Okay, some Ewoks that weren't created. Ooh, oh, that's why, because it's in this. I need to gray this one out. I'm gonna just do that real quick. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, lots of Ewoks that weren't created. Commander Egar, this is the, I request a further thing to search in the area. He was armed only with this. And then, of course, I just listed as many of the different TIE pilots and X-Wing pilots and Y-Wing pilots and B-Wing pilots and A-Wing pilots and ATST drivers, you know, that differentiated themselves. And here's all the ones that have yet to be made, both Imperial and, and I think a lot of these would be nice to have. Um, and, uh, and again, it could just be, you know, simple, simple, simple sculpts, you know, do it like a pack of three pack a four pack but i know that that costs more money these days i also included both the vader i had vader at the beginning but i included a different vader when he has his when he has his uh his lightning from the emperor going all through his body and another vintage vader when his helmet comes off the earlier one i included did have his helmet come off as well but this one comes off more accurately loses his arm and lastly we have our spirit of i put the spirit of yoda Spirit of Anakin and Spirit of Old Anakin as well. And I had Spirit of Ben early on. So it's my intention to continue this and go on to the prequel trilogy next. I'm pretty much putting them on the sheet order of release, uh, order of movie release. And I think I want to do the prequel trilogy as well as the sequel trilogy. And then if I have time, I'll maybe look into all the other aspects of it. And then just to see where we are, obviously it'll get updated once, you know, I'm sure that Hasbro is not yet finished with the vintage collection, but it'll be kind of interesting to see where it goes from there. So I just thought I would share that to you. Again, if you guys know of any other resources for stuff like that, please you know leave me a comment, uh, put something out there on one of the pages on either Facebook or Twitter or X or Instagram, and you know, reach out to me any which way at Darth Tuba, and uh, I'd love to hear from you about that. So I hope you enjoyed that little kind of thing. It's if anybody wants me to share that with, share that out, I'd be more than willing to do that and make a copy of it and share it with anybody to do what you want with. Um, but, uh, you know, as I said, it's just my own way of thinking. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I, I don't plan on keeping my figures forever, but I thought maybe if I did decide to part with some of them, you know, part of me, I think, was that I think I want to keep the vintage collection figures carded for a while. Um, but... I don't, they don't cover a lot of these figures. There was a lot of figures that weren't in the VC collection and I don't know if I want to part with all of them. I, you know, I'm, I love knowing that I, I, and I'm pretty sure I have like most of the figures that have been made up till this point. I either have them 
or I have one close to them or that kind of thing. I mean, there's been multiple releases of figures, repacks, repaints, but I think I have at least one representation of each figure, I think. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, some of the, some of the, I started parting with the Power of the Force figures, uh, the original one, Power of the Force 2, the ones that came out in the early 90s. Uh, and I feel like as long as I have a Stormtrooper or a Han Solo, but um, there's a lot of different Han Solos. I do like Han and the, Han and the, in the coat, you know, and Han in his Bespin outfit, Han getting in his torture cha chamber, you know, I like having the different versions of that. So we'll see if I'm going to part with those. But, um, you know, it's just something I, I was playing around with. I'm going to see where it goes from here. And um, we'll go, we'll see what happens with it. But it was just a good thing to kind of keep my organized in my head. So thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the other stuff. Check out all my other videos. Check out all the other content on Red 5, uh, their podcasts and YouTube channels. Thank you, Red 5, for supporting our channel. Until next time, may the Force and the toys be with you.